Hey, it's Nursey at Blessed RN coming at you with a daily dose of dosage calculation. Today, I have for you an IV flow rate problem with time completion added on to it. It's done via dimensional analysis. Let's get into it. The doctor orders a 1,000 ml bag of IV normal saline to be infused at 20 drops per minute. The drip factor is 10 drops per ml. You start the IV infusion at 1530. At what time will the infusion be complete? So it's asking for time. That means that our goal is to find hours, okay? So we will write out our relationships. 1,000 milliliters is the bag. It's single, it's by itself. You got 20 drops per minute as the rate that is going in. And then your drop factor is 10 drops per milliliter, okay? So we're looking for hours. We're gonna start with hours, but we don't have hours anywhere to be found. We have minutes, right? But we still can put our hours. So let's do one hour is 60 minutes, okay? Now we got minutes at the bottom. We'll need minutes at the top so we can cross out. So 20 minutes, well, I'm sorry, 20 drops will go on the bottom. Minutes will go on the top, cross out. Now we got drops at the bottom. We need drops at the top. So that's your 10 drops per ml, drops cross out. Now we have milliliters left. We'll use our 1,000 mls from the bag, put it over one because it wasn't in a relationship. It was single cross it out. Everything is gone now except for hours. So we'll multiply across the top and divide across the bottom and get 8.33333 repeating hours. So we need to find out how many minutes is 0.3333333 because everything behind the decimal is your minutes and everything in front of the decimal is your hours. So we'll take 0 0.33 times 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour and we'll multiply that together to get 19.8, which will be 20 minutes. So our total time that it will take is eight hours and 20 minutes. So if we start at 3.30, which is 15.30, and we add eight hours and 20 minutes. And you see, I'm kind of just separating it um, with hours on one side and minutes on the other side. I add my minutes together, you got 50 minutes. I add my hours together, that's 2350. And that is your end time. Simple enough, yay. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will tune in on Sunday nights and Wednesday nights for Work It Out Wednesday. And then if you can't make it, the replay is on YouTube along with other playlists that have valuable dosage calculations videos. Um, like, subscribe, tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody. And as always, be blessed.